Hi guys, this is Teacher SP and welcome to my channel. So today, I will be teaching you about operation on function. So before I'm going to discuss, let us review what are the four fundamental operations of a function. So if you're ready, so please keep watching until the end of this video. about the four fundamental operations guys these are addition subtraction multiplication and division so pag sinabi nating addition kapag nag-add po tayo for example 8 plus 9 will give you 17 and what do you call the answer here and that is the sum so therefore the sum of f of x and g of x is defined as f of x plus g of x. Okay, so this is the formula for the sum. And if you are going to subtract 18 minus 9 will give you 7. And the answer for subtraction is the difference. So therefore, the difference of f of x and g of x is defined as f of x minus g of x. Okay? And if you're going to multiply 4 times 3 will give you 12. And the answer is product. And therefore, the product of f of x and g of x is defined as f of x and g of x. And if you're going to divide 16 and 2 will give you 8, the answer is quotient. The quotient of f and x and g of x is defined as f of x divided by g of x such that g of x is not equal to 0. Why? What happened if your denominator is 0? that the, the value is undefined. All variables, all numbers see to it that the denominator is not equal to zero. Why? Because if you're going to prove eight over zero is equal to zero, kung ang answer mo is zero, zero, if you're going to check your answer, zero times zero will give you zero, and the answer is eight. Kapag ang answer mo naman ni eight, eight times zero is equal to eight. So that's why, all whole numbers, all variables, and if the denominator is zero, that is undefined. You cannot define it, okay? So, ito na yung four fundamental operations of function. If we are going to use this in your equation, so when you are talking about function, uh, f of x and g of x. So, for example, if I will be giving you an example, f of x is equal to x squared minus... Um, 8x plus 16 and the value of g of x is equal to x minus 4. So, ito po yung given, gagamitan po natin ng four fundamental operation. So, first we have the sum, which is f of x and g of x. So, uh, we know that our the value of your f of x is equal to x squared minus 8x plus 16 and x minus 4. So, ilalagay po natin ang x natin sa ilalim ng uh, x na ito, x minus 4. And we are going to follow the rule in adding integers. When you are, add, when you are adding integers, yung sinabi ko nga from the previous video, 
unlike sine, you are going to subtract and copy the sign of the bigger number. Like sine, you are going to add. So, 16 minus 4 will give you positive 12. Sa subtract mo siya kasi the, the, unlike sine po sila and the value of uh, 16 is sixteen is higher than 4. So, you have to follow the sign of 16. And then negative 8 and positive 1, subtract and copy the sign of the bigger number will give you negative 7x. And uh, we have x squared. Bring down mo lang po siya ng x squared. So, ito po yung sagot. But before, if you're going to simplify that, so para po masimplify po natin guys, titignan po natin kung ito po ay factorable. Can you factor 12? Now, if you're going to add is equal to 7, can you give me the factors of 12? The factors of 12 are 4 and 3. So, when we are going to say factor, multiply mo that is equal to 12. 4 and 3, 6 and 2, 12 and 1. Sa tatlo na ito, ano po yung factor ng 12 na kapag pinag-add mo is equal to 7? Di po ba 4 and 3? So, if you are going to simplify this using factoring, then itong factor niya is x ang factor niya ay x factor ng 12 is 4 and 3 and if the sign at the middle term is negative then all of this is negative. How are you going to check your answer? Using the FOIL method. So if you're going to use the FOIL method x times x will give you x squared. Outer term x times negative 3 will give you negative 3x. Negative 4 times x will give you negative 4x. So, pareho silang sign, then you are going to add. So, negative 4 and negative 3 will give you negative 7x. And 4 times negative 3 will give you positive 12. And that is correct. So, see to it that you are going to simplify your answer to lowest term and using the factory. But if it is not factorable, then that's it. That is your final answer. Okay? So, another one, same example. We are going to use same example, but we need to subtract. Isa subtract na po natin. So, same equation pa rin po. F of x minus g of x. Okay, so, sa letter B po natin, letter B is F of x minus g of x. So, isa subtract po natin. So, magiging x squared minus 8x plus 16 and x minus 4. When you are subtracting a number, see to it that you are going to change the sign of the subtrahend before you proceed to the rule of addition. This positive will become negative and negative will become positive. Tapos mag-proceed to the rule of addition. Positive 16 and positive 4 will give you positive 20. Negative 8 and negative 1 will give you negative 9x. Bring down x squared. And then check if, you, if it is factorable. So, ano ang factor ng 20? If you are going to add, is equal to 9. So, ang factor ng 20 ay 5 and 4, 20 and 1. Okay? So, 10 and 2. Out of the three fa factors, ano po yung factor ng 20 na if you're going to add is equal to 9. So that is 5 and 4. So simplify po ninyo, ang titingnan nyo lang po ay the first term which is x squared. So x and x. Factor of 20, so magiging 5, tapos magiging 4. And the sign of the middle term is negative, so negative, negative. Therefore, ang factor nito ay x minus 5 x minus 4. Then check again using the FOIL method and if the answer is equal to this, your answer is correct. So this is now our final answer. Okay, so this is for the subtraction. But how about for letter C, we have multiplication. So x squared minus 8x plus 16 times x minus 4. We will be using a multiplication of a polynomial using a long method. Parang uh, nag-multiply lang kayo ng uh, 1,368 times uh, 218. So, pa isa, isa this is your multiplicand, this is a multiplier. So, positive 16 times negative 4 will give you negative 64. 
negative 4 times negative 8x will give you positive 32x. Negative 4 times x squared will give you negative 4x squared. So, we're done already with negative 4. Patapos dun sa x na naman. So, x times positive 16, positive 16x. And then, negative 8x times x magiging negative 8x squared. x squared times x will give you x cubed. So, kapag nilagay nyo na, bring down negative 64. 32 plus 16 will give you positive 48x. Negative 4 and negative 8 will give you negative 12x squared. So, kapyahin nyo lang po yung ano. And then, bring down x cubed. So, therefore, the product of is equal to x squared, negative 12x squared, plus 48x, and negative 64. Okay? So, that is for multiplication. How about if you are going to use division na po? So, kapag sa division ay magiging ganito na po yun. So, for the division, ang f of x po natin, so for letter D, ang f of x po natin ay x squared negative 8x plus 16 divided by g of x, x which is x minus 4. So, let us check kung ito po ay ipa-factor natin, guys. Ano po yung factor ng 16 na kapag pinag-add mo is equal to 4, uh, to 8? Di po ba ang 16 ay 8 and 2, 16 and 1, 4 and 4. So, sa tatlo na yon ang factor ng 16 na kapag pinag-add mo is equal to 8, that is 4 and 4. So, therefore, magiging x minus 4 and then x minus 4. Then, bring down x minus 4. So, if you're going to simplify that, you can cancel a numerator and a denominator. So, cancel mo x minus 4, x minus 4, and that is equal to x minus 4. So, this is now the final answer. So, this is now the process on how are you going to use the four fundamental operations using a function. Okay? So, uh, I hope guys that you learned something today. A, hey, don't forget to subscribe, like, and um hit the notification bell so that you will be updated for whatever videos I'm going to upload. And, by the way, guys, you can request uh, the topic that you are going to, to uh, discuss. And uh, have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.